2024 was a huge year for SAP subscription billing, which saw it being nominated as a leading recurring billing application by Gartner and rolling out a ton of great new features throughout the year. 2025 is set to keep this momentum going, and in this video, we'll check out some new features from SAP subscription billing, which together with SAP S4HANA Cloud ERP can help you drive success for your subscriptions business operations. First up, we've improved the management and processing of sales commissions for subscriptions in SAP S4HANA Cloud. Settlement conditions of settlement management have been enhanced to support billing of subscription items. With this new feature, you can now easily manage and pay sales commissions to both internal employees and external sales partners. Leverage condition contracts in SAP S4HANA Cloud as your agreement framework for commission calculations, where a new type of condition contract is supported, which can determine the business volume from billing documents resulting from subscription billing. This new feature automates sales commission processing, reducing efforts and improving accuracy by generating corresponding settlement documents through seamless integration with SAP subscription billing. On top of this, we've made a few recent changes to support more flexible management of subscriptions. Until now, it was possible to change the billing cycles of sub-items of a subscription in the Manage Subscriptions app. We have now updated this to support changes being made to the root subscription item. With this flexibility to change the root billing cycle, you can now choose the main product and rate plan from a wider range. We've also increased flexibility when it comes to extending and reactivating subscriptions. In the Manage Subscriptions app, you could previously only extend a subscription by a number of billing cycles or by setting an unlimited extension. We've enhanced this to enable you to freely choose the extension period unit be it weeks, months or quarters, for example, and define the number of periods or select a new expiration date for the subscription. Similarly, previously expired subscriptions or cancelled subscriptions couldn't be reactivated until now. We've addressed this, enabling the reactivation of subscriptions which have expired, providing this the expiration was no more than two years ago. We also now support the reversal of cancellations. This functionality can come in handy, for example, if a subscription was to expire during negotiations with a customer and should save both time and effort when renewing subscription agreements. This short update shows just a few recent features from the integration of SAP S4HANA Cloud ERP and SAP subscription billing. With new features continually being rolled out, make sure to stay up to date via the SAP community. Thanks for watching.